Well, let's take a little time today to understand a little more about FISMA and boundaries and how they make up uh, the ATO process, right? So we can get a little better understanding of these uh, primary components. So we're here illustrated in this drawing, we have three areas that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about infrastructure boundaries. We're going to talk about network operating system boundaries. And then we're going to talk about application boundaries. So let's go ahead and start with the network uh, or infrastructure boundary. Uh, this boundary includes uh, the network piece, includes physical security, and includes the actual infrastructure of the environment. And so this is kind of your core environment that you're seeing here, right? This is the core infrastructure that's historically shared in multiple environments, right? So you could have multiple operating systems or different applications. This probably accounts for 80% of your environment, of most environments, is this infrastructure. Then we have our secondary boundary called the network operating system boundary. And here we're really talking about the operating system itself. Uh, Linux, Windows, for example, could be any operating systems. And here we're just talking about the ability to have something to run on top of the infrastructure. So historically, the infrastructure in this environment would create a virtualized environment here within the infrastructure. And then we would layer on it an operating system. So that would be a secondary boundary or a network operating system boundary. Then we have an application boundary. Now an application boundary would include multiple applications, right? So you might have file sharing or email, mobility services like an MDM or a security platform, a COTS and GOTS applications, right? Commercial off-the-shelf or government off-the-shelf applications. Could be anything. Could be email, could be another form of file sharing, could be a database or a CRM, whatever it is. And then, of course, you have your security services. Now, security, typically we'd find uh, very uh, components of it, obviously, are going to be inside of our infrastructure boundary as well. But here we're talking about security services like maybe uh, specialized intrusion detection or, or something of that nature. And so these all could be individual application boundaries, individual. They could each have their own ATO. So we could have an ATO here for the infrastructure that gets us 85% of the way. We load on it, let's just say, a Linux operating system here that gets us another 5%. And then we've got a 10% that we need to deal with here. And let's say we choose email or mobility. Then what we do when we go to get the ATO is when they go to get, when they go to grant the ATO, they take into consideration the work that's already been done here, this 90%. We're just using these numbers fictitiously. And then they take into account this additional 10% that may be required for email or file sharing or mobility. And that is what we get the ATO on. So in review, this uh, drawing shows an infrastructure boundary, a network operating system boundary, and an application boundary. Within these boundaries, we create a, a repeatable, uh, scalable infrastructure. And then we host customer services with the application boundary. I hope that helps uh, with some of the understanding. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you for listening.